How many people are grateful that they're alive and to God today? Are you alive today? If you're alive, that means you're breathing. Could be many meetings that could have took place today. They come, they discuss all their business plans, discuss the the economy, and other things, discuss politics. And after that, they just leave. And many of these e meetings, they just end with some resentment. They're not happy. But when you're in a, a, a meeting with the Lord, a fellowship with the Lord, in a setting just like this, We come to just handle one thing. We come to take care of just one thing. We're in the business of our souls today. That means my relationship with the Lord, that's the only thing that matters. And your relationship with the Lord is the only thing that matters. And we all come together, it's true. But we all come to pull our own piece of heaven. We all come to raise our hands before the Lord. And to say thank you. This is a freedom that the people of God must have. Many times it's important to teach our children this at home. To encourage them to raise their hands. To praise the Lord. But the best way to encourage them to do this is
That means his soul, his spirit, his mind. And, ev- and after that, everything that is in him. That means his feet, his arms, his mouth. His Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. I don't give them liberty over here. Many people love their freedom today. The heavens of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jump in the heavens of the Lord. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, roll. But be free in the Lord. We need to be spiritual. And help us to go up higher in the Lord. We sing, how can I repay? How can I say thank you? The man of God said, how can I repay the Lord for all he's done for me? How can I give it on to him for all his good doings unto me? He said, I know what I'll do. I'll lift it all up. Whenever the Lord delivered you, whenever the Lord had saved you, take the time to stand in the great assembly and proclaim the name of the Lord. It will help the people of God themselves to grow. It will help them to go forward. Yahweh, Yahweh, You'll see the face of the Lord shining on your face. And if they were discouraged, they'll be strengthened. If their knees were shaking, they will be strong. If their hands were... And they'll know that God is able. They won't just read that God is able. They'll see that God is In your life, they'll see that God is at work. They'll see your living testimony. Because your living testimony, this means to them that God is alive. That's why you can't close your mouth. You can't just whisper low, how do I repay? How do I say? How do I say thank you? This is just like you're asking a question. But when you answer this question, you said, I'm going to lift my voice. But, but we don't even hear what you're saying. You're just saying that you'll lift your voice. But your voice isn't raised up. It's not lifted. I say I'll lift my hands. But my hands aren't lifted. But when I say I'll lift my hands, I lift my voice and I lift my hands. So if you were looking at me, brothers, even why don't you look, lift your hands? People of God, why don't you lift your hands? Man, why don't you lift your hands? How do you say you're going to do something and you don't do it? How will God trust in us? You see, the children at home, they might not even trust in you. If you say something and you don't do it. So if we say it, then we must do it. Hallelujah. May God bless you today. 
We're going to change our disposition this morning. And we're going to seek the Lord. We have many situations that we need the Lord to perform a miracle in. Brother Patrick, he's in the hospital right now. I don't know exactly how the situation is. How many know that the Lord is the doctor of doctors? The young man, he was very wise. He said, Lord, if you will, you will heal me. He said, Lord, if you want, you will heal me. This was a request. He was smart. He was mindful. Jésus dit, oui, moi, je le veux. And Jesus said, yes, I will. Je le veux. He said, rise up. Sois pur. You are pure. Be pure. Le bon Dieu n'a pas redit ça. People of God will say this again. Nous n'entendons ça à côté que bon Dieu a fermé toute bagarre. We're in a time where God is putting an end to all things. Dans la fin des temps. In the end of times. La fin des temps des nations. The end of the, the times of the nations. Le Seigneur lui a fermé toute bagarre. The Lord is putting an end to all things. Il y a une porte, il y a une heure qui était grand ouvert. There was a time, there was a door that was wide open. Mais on porte ça la fermé. But we see that the door slowly closing. Et c'est le Seigneur qui a fermé. And it's the Lord that's closing it. There's, there's a little space still for people to go through. But you that are serious in God, don't, don't take the direction of leaving. You might leave now and you think you have time to come back and you don't. But, but while you're here, make your election sure. Make your election sure. Work towards your salvation with fear and trembling. Et ça va faire au nom de Jésus. And this will be done in the name of Jesus. Change your disposition, Tika. Change your disposition. Sous quand mettez à genoux, mettez à genoux. And if you can kneel, kneel. Sous pas quand mettez à genoux, quand vous êtes au coin. If you can't kneel, find a corner. Touchez le Seigneur. And touch the Lord. Cherchez mon Dieu. Seek God. Present your request. The, the burdens, they're many. The requests, they're many. But the man of God told us to, to lay our burdens upon him. And he'll take care of us. But bring them unto him. By prayer, it's one of the ways. And we like to do that this morning. Let's remember one another. The people of God, the kingdom of God. Wherever the people of God are exalting his name today, we're going to pray for them. The Bible says to pray for those that are raised up in authority. Pray for the president, pray for the royal, pray for the presidents and the kings. Nous capables de mener en vie paisible. That we may live a, 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 a peaceful life. Ou va comprendre, ça c'est, 
We see in 1 Timothy chapter 2, starting at verse 1, you'll understand the importance of this verse better if you're living in Haiti right now. If you were there now. Or if you're in Africa. You would understand the importance of this verse. The Bible says to pray for those that are elevated in authority. Not that their souls may be saved. They may not even know the God that we're speaking of. But we pray for them. That we may live a peaceful life. Pastor Lionel says it's strength that fights with strength. We can't go fight with those that are in the streets or cause trouble. There's the government for them. But he says to pray for them. That we may live a peaceful life. Let's pray for one another. And we'll stand on our feet. Hallelujah. Pray for the spiritual well-being of the people of God. Pray for the spiritual well-being of the assembly. Pray for the spiritual well-being of each and every child of person of God. Our young men and our young women qui a fait face avec des situations extrêmement difficiles dans le monde. situations out in this world. Pour le Seigneur, capable de faire force avec courage. strength and courage. Vous avez besoin de force avec courage pour capable de faire la différence. You need strength and courage to make the difference. Le ça, vous avez des possibilités avec autorité pour faire le bon choix. That's when you'll have the possibility and authority to make a good choice. Même si qui tout. Even if you're by yourself. Mais le Seigneur va inspirer. But the Lord will inspire you. Faire le bon choix. To make a good choice. Pour pas prendre des décisions qui mener à tomber dans tracas. You won't take a decision that'll bring you to trouble. Jeune garçon, jeune fille, ou pas prendre des décisions qui mener à tomber dans corruption. Young man, young woman, you won't take a decision that leads Mais to trouble. Mais le Seigneur, il va force, il va autorité. But the Lord gives you strength and authority. Et nous tout qui comme là, le Seigneur pour nous force and avec autorité. He gives us strength and authority. Sous décision nous va prendre. On the decisions that we're making. That will bring us in the direction of salvation. Let's all pray that we have a good heart. Let's pray to 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 have a good heart. Let's at least one day, Lord, help me to learn to dance. And let me dance in the spirit. Help me to learn to raise my hands. To sing. To sing in the spirit. To raise my hands. To know me raise my hands. Spiritual prayers before the Lord. 
Let's pray for one another. Pray for all the saints. Pray for all the people of God. Pray for all the people of God. Pray for all the people of God. Pray for those that are not yet in the pasture. They haven't been converted yet. They are in the gospel yet. They are in the gospel yet. They are in church yet. They are in church yet. They You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. You're going to have a night club for you. That's why we pray for the world. Change your disposition and seek the Lord this morning. Seigneur Dieu, au nom de Jésus.